Well, hi everybody. My name is Stephanie. I'm a certified surgical technologist. I've been a certified surgical technologist for over five years now. And I just want to show you some of my critiques of setting up a back table and your Mayo stand for a neurosurgery. If you see, my back table has two sheets on top. It has the back and another sheet. I put all my softs, my syringes, my pens, my ruler, my sponges all in one area. Then I have a towel and on top of that towel is my, all my sharps and my sharps container, which is blades, hypos, any burrs, anything sharp that is needed. Now, I have a bucket to put on my mayo stand that is going to be regular saline. And mind you, when it comes to neurosurgery, you never put bacitration in your saline. Just saline. Then I have my instruments out, as so. Now, my roll is a firm roll. Thick, where my instruments do not flop over. All my instruments are inside. Any accessories needed. I have my gloves in, in order in a bin and then I in the back I have my plating system. I cut up my surgery cell in many different pieces and then I cut up my surgery foam in many different pieces and put it up and put it in a cup. I already have my blade set up and the burr I'm going to be using I like this setup because everything is contained in one organized manner. My mayo stand is already set up with the perforator, the suctions, and all the peristal elevators and bayonets that's going to be used for the surgery. I put a towel on the corner of my mayo stand with a ioband drape. That will be for my patties to keep them wet. Now with my back table, I always keep my garbage far away from me because these garbages tend to fall off and rip off. So I'm not rubbing against it. My back table is all in orderly fashion. I don't have my instruments far away from me. I don't have my softs far away from me. If there's any questions, okay critiquing questions, send a message and I'll respond.